Hey folks, how you doing today? So, uh, back at the turn of the century, into the 20s, and even up to today, bingo was a very big popular game. So what they used back then is a kino goose. So this is a turn of the century kino goose. It is made out of solid walnut, possibly mahogany, but I think walnut. And uh, here's a couple of original kino cards. This is what they looked back back in the day. So what they did clearly is you see, here's the balls. You see here, this, this has, it doesn't have a full set of balls, but it has like 40 balls, 44 balls in it. That's what they look like, 44 balls. Numbers on. Stay <laughs> focused on the product, Jim, please. So uh, they're really cool. And what you did is this is spring loaded and it would drop. What you do is you have to turn it, right? And then, come on, boy. There it is. It drops a ball out, right? And that's how they do it. Then they would set them aside and it would turn, right, to mix up the balls. Whee! Come on, baby. There it is. Uh, and this is how you load it, okay? And then it had little prongs on here so that when you spun it, it did not come out. Very cool piece of uh, early American gaming, Kino Goose. Uh, a lot of museums like this, people with uh, gambling collections, cool. You don't see them around all that much. But anyway, if you'd like a nice Kino Goose, comes with two cards and 44 balls. See the bottom of it, right? It's got the nice feet on it. Very cool, these were all carved and turned. I'm sure they were fairly expensive back in the day and came to run a full Kino game. Anyway, great little uh, architectural piece. So if you want it, get a hold of us. We'll get it in the box, get it out to you. As soon as you buy it, we'll get it out. Thank you. What do you think, Walker? I think it's ready to go. I think it's ready to go too. Let's get it in the box. Very cool. Get her gone.